Tori, the crafty girl here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable little mini ramen noodles keychain keychain um, with your circular knitting machine. Now, uh, the lid is actually made from crochet. Um, and then on the inside, we will also have another knitting machine piece, which is going to be the ramen noodles. Now, I know this kind of looks like shredded wheat. Um, so if you love cereal, you could always use the same pattern to make shredded wheat here. Um, you can also, instead of adding the shredded wheat, you could just add stuffing in here and then uh, um, seal up the top and make it just more of a stuffy. Totally up to you. Um, and then I'm sending this to a friend as a gift and you know, I had to, I cleaned, sanitized, and then put, um, a seal on this just to add it in for a little extra, uh, a little extra there. Uh, so then anyway, this is what we're going to be making today. And without further ado, let's dive in. So for today's project, you will need different yarn colors. So for the actual ramen noodles, I ended up using a white, an orange, and then a black. Also just a little accent here for the mouth, and then I used safety eyes. You can purchase safety eyes on Amazon in a large kit. Um, you could also just crochet those on um, or uh, do like a French knot or duplicate stitching, whatever you want to create the base. In fact, you don't even have to have a face if you don't want to. So you'll need those um, type of yarns. Um, you'll also need a yarn color for your ramen. I used this, it's kind of an oatmeal color, a wheat color. Um, I like this, but you might want something a little bit more yellow. And then of course you'll need your standard supplies, um, but you still will need the crochet hook to actually finish the ends of your project. Your standard supplies, um, if you use a wool needle just to hide your tails, you can have that, your darning needle and scissors. The machine I used is the Addy 22, but of course you could use this. Yeah, this is a little disaster over here, but you could use a Centro 22, but I'm just using a 22 pin knitting machine. off don't forget to turn your work inside out and then double knot all of your yarn changes one thing that I will encourage you to do is I'm not doing it here because I've become really accustomed to what the tension should be but before you do the second knot make sure you turn it to the right side and just double check that you're not getting any wonky color changes um, the tighter that you make those knots you can actually pull it and create some unwanted tension um, but you can also create really clean color changes so make sure to do that and trim off all of those extra yarn tails after you've done that you're going to turn your work right side out and then you're going to pull it into itself so you're essentially you're folding it in half with the right sides facing facing outward. Now we are gonna crochet the top together, um, which is why you should leave a really long tail. I did not, so you're gonna get a bonus and I'm gonna show you how to make a magic knot, essentially a very subtle way to uh, actually attach yarn together. Start by aligning the old yarn tail with the new yarn tail horizontally. We want them to be parallel to each other. That will make this process so much easier. Then you're gonna take one piece of yarn and go over, under, over again, and then through. And it's gonna look like a little pretzel. And you're gonna tighten that as tight as you can. Then with the bottom, you're gonna do the same process. Over, under, over, and then through again. Give it a nice tug there. And then you're gonna pull both sides until the knot comes to the center. Now the best part about this is that you'll see here that you can actually trim off those extra yarn tails and get them as close as you can. I know it's kind of scary that it's gonna fall apart, but it won't. And then when you give this yarn a nice little tug, you'll see that yes, there is a knot, but it is gonna get a little bit more hidden than you would if you had some big yarn tails hanging out there or with a double knot. Next, we're gonna crochet finish that top portion there. I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook, but you can use whatever works for you and you're comfortable with. So you're gonna pick up one loop on one side and then the corresponding loop on the other. Just make sure that it's aligned so that the tube isn't twisted. So you'll just go in each of those loops, pull your, your yarn through and continue all the way around. 
and then just remove your waist yarn from both sides. Now I did decide to continue crocheting all the way around the bottom to create kind of a flatter bottom. I used a decrease method. Um, so what this means is you can actually look up some tutorials on crochet decrease if you want to get more into that. Um, since this is not a crochet tutorial, I don't want to waste your time going too far into that. Um, you could also just finish it off by tying off the yarn and just having an open bottom. Um, you could create a circle with the 22 pin with like 10 rows and you could stitch that to the bottom. So there's some other options besides crochet if you don't feel comfortable with that. Um, but I did end up just doing a crochet decrease all the way around the bottom and then I tied it off and hid the tails. Now the noodles is such an easy pattern. Just using a 22 pin, just knit 14 rows in your cream or wheat color using waist yarn. That's it. Then once you take it off the machine, you are gonna crochet finish one side to close it up and then remove your waist yarn. Now I started to close up the other end and decided I wanted to add a little bit of stuffing to give it, you know, that stuffy um, look to it. So I did unravel it just a little bit and then tucked a little bit of the stuffing in there and then I finished crocheting that end as well um, and then I removed the waist yarn. So to add texture to the noodles so that it gave it that noodlier look um, like ramen has, I just took a piece of yarn and I wrapped it around different stitches. Um, I just eyeballed it all the way around and then I tucked those loose yarn tails um, into the actual noodles. Now it does kind of look like shredded wheat. You can play around with it, um, but I just did this spur of the moment and I think it looked okay for what I was looking for. Now the lid is totally optional. I, as I mentioned before, I did a crochet circle. Um, if you know anything about crochet, I ended up doing a magic ring with eight half double crochets and then I think four increases. You could also just use the 22 pin knitting machine and do I think about 10, uh, 10 rows or 14 rows and then cinch both sides to make the circle and then just attach it at the sides. Um, play around with these different options, whatever really works for you. Now you can add an optional face. You can customize this however you want to. I used safety eyes um, and a little yarn for the mouth, but you could just use yarn for both. Um, get creative with this, really. Uh, you can customize this in so many different ways. Then you're gonna add your keychain. Um, if you don't have a keychain, uh, you can also just crochet a loop or even use a piece of yarn. Um, again, there's lots of options with this project. So that is how you make my mini knitting machine ramen noodles. If you like this content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Also, give me a challenge. What is something you wanna see me try to recreate with the knitting machine? I really love a challenge and there's so many adorable and amazing possibilities out there. So that's it, everybody. Until next time, see ya.